Hey, what's up you guys? It's Lloyd here. So, obviously I've been getting a lot of messages about the current predicament right now. Most people are in lockdown or being quarantined in their own house, so they can't go outside. And a big thing that I've talked about on this channel a lot has been going out and talking to women. And obviously, at the current state, you can't do that. So, what do you do in this scenario? Because I know a lot of guys are worried maybe they were talking to a girl uh, beforehand, things were going pretty well, but now that they're in quarantine, they're worried that they're gonna lose her because they, they, they can't see them in person. Um, and then I also hear about a lot of other guys too that you know didn't have any options before the quarantine happened, and now they really don't have any options um, and are pretty pessimistic about their prospects in the future. So I'm going to be talking about these two things because look, man, you know when this first started, I was worried about my dating and sex life. Not so worried about it anymore because uh, I've pretty much have done a lot of the things that I'm going to be talking about in this video. Um, and actually, this is covering a lot of material. Like, there's a lot of stuff in this that uh, I won't have time to cover. I'm going to be doing a more in-depth presentation on this on a webinar that I'm going to be doing this Saturday at 12. So if you want more information about that, I would love to see you. The webinar is 100% free. So just follow the link in the description below. Say you're attending, uh, and then I'll sh and then click the link when it, when I put it out and show up, dude. I would love to see you. You're going to be able to ask me questions as well too. Okay. Cool, so uh, let's talk about the first scenario. The first scenario was where you're talking to a girl, it was going great, then bam, coronavirus happens, you're quarantined, and now you can't see this girl in person, so you're restricted to using your phone to try and contact her, okay? Um, and what I find the biggest problem with this is is that a lot of guys who are very good in person, are very charismatic, and you know that everything seems to be going pretty well, a lot of these guys, they can't translate that to technology. When they have to do it through a message, when they have to do it maybe even through FaceTime or something like that, they can't be that person anymore. They, they change. And, and dude, I really sympathize with these guys because I used to be this too. You know, when I first started going out and trying to better myself, I was very, very against using the phone. I was very, very against using dating apps. So I basically, all that I did, all my development was on speaking to people in real life. And I think that's awesome. I think that's the most important thing. However, given the current circumstances, uh, that is not the best thing. So luckily years ago I decided that I was going to make the effort to make sure that my uh, digital presence, my digital personality uh, was up to par with my regular one. Okay, So it is kind of a skill that you have to learn. And one of the things that I'm going to give you to start off with, I think a big reason why a lot of these guys, um, they tend to not be as cool as they are in real life or over the phone or whatever, is because for them, technology and messaging, it's kind of a stressful situation. So like they text a girl that they really like and then they're waiting for the text message back. So they start to get stressed, they start to get nervous, and when you get stressed, your body releases cortisol. So when you release cortisol, you, it basically turns you into fight or flight. That means your body cannot think of funny things, it can't be silly, it can't be fun, and so you're in this mode where it's like you're literally just trying to make sure that she likes you and you start being needy, it, it just, and you scare the girl off. Okay, it doesn't work. So how can you get over this? Well, the, the first thing is to stop your body from releasing so much cortisol. Stop being so stressed out. I know it's easier said than done, but one of the things that you can start doing is start by just having fun. Stop trying to expect for her to text you back and instead go for something that you think would, you would enjoy, okay? Put yourself first. Again, this is something that I always talk about, okay? Because if you're always thinking about getting that next text message, basically you're going to start putting yourself in a stressed environment, uh, and then your body's gonna start releasing cortisol, then you're not gonna be able to be that fun, charismatic guy, okay? Um, and, and ultimately, it doesn't really matter so much that she text messages you back, it matters that what you're communicating uh, via your text messages and your messages. And even if you try really, really hard to say the most not needy things, if you're stressed out, it's going to come across. I've been doing this a long time, so the best way to do it is just to eliminate that stress to begin with. And again, it's easier said than done, so uh, start with what I just recommended to you, and if you want more information about that, I highly recommend that you attend the webinar, because I'm gonna be going over all of the stuff that I used to kind of help me get less stress when I'm texting a girl that I really like, especially a girl that you feel like is outside of your league, because I know some of you guys, maybe you met a girl who you feel like is, you're putting them on the pedestal and everything, and you're already putting yourself in a bad situation. Okay, cool. so, so start with that. All right, now let's say you don't even have any prospects. Didn't have any prospects before the coronavirus, you really don't have any prospects right now. Okay, so um, how do you get a girl just by sitting on your couch 
doing nothing. Well, you're not exactly doing nothing. You're going to be on your phone, okay? And you're going to be on probably a dating app or something like that. So using dating apps, how do you do this? Well, things have changed a little bit. You do mostly what you do pre-quarantine. Pre um, but during the quarantine, basically your goal is to get them on like a FaceTime call or like you can even do Skype or Zoom or something like that. Do one of those things and there are a lot of fun dates that you can do over them. You can watch um, a Netflix movie or something like that. There's actually a way that you can sync up with another person's Netflix account and you guys can watch a movie at the same time and you can have them on FaceTime, Skype, whatever. Um, and that can be a fun thing for you to do too. I actually don't think that's as good of an idea because you're just kind of sitting there doing nothing and you know if you have funny stuff to talk about that could work but ultimately I think a better thing might be to play some fun games you can like honestly just have a meal have some wine do that but something else that works too and you know this could be a fun uh, idea is you, you could do like a painting class together or you can like there was one that I did with this girl where uh, we basically drew what we thought each other like represented with what a little information we knew about them um, and then we would draw the picture and then we would show each other and then we would talk about it like it was a super fun game that we played uh, so get fun, get creative with this, okay? If you want more ideas, uh, I'm gonna have a list of all the ones that I've ever used on the webinar, but hopefully a couple of those will set you in the right direction, okay? Um, so yeah, the main goal is to try, first of all, you know, get, get them matching with you, so your picture's gotta be good, and generally having good pictures is the most important thing when it comes to a dating profile. So you match with them, you banter with them for a little bit. I would recommend that you change from uh, the dating app to a phone number. Uh, a lot of girls are giving out the Snapchats. I, I would I would give a little bit of pushback if they want to put you on Snapchat because that usually means the beginning of the end uh, of you talking to this girl. So there are ways that you can work with Snapchat, but generally I would say you'd try and get off of it and you know say, hey, I don't really use Snapchat. You know, it's just it's just text, um, and sometimes that works. Okay, so now that you're texting, then try and go for the FaceTime uh, call. I would get it while you're hot, while you're kind of messaging. If you try and organize a FaceTime call, that can work sometimes too, but then she's going to get nervous like the way that she does for a date. Um, I would just FaceTime call her while, while it's hot. If you guys are messaging back and forth pretty quick, chances are she's doing nothing. The only time she won't pick up is if she feels like she doesn't look that good um, or if she's really, really nervous. And, and there are ways that you can get over that too, but that's the general format uh, for what I would recommend. And then also too, if you get comfortable on the FaceTime calls and she's comfortable enough with you, dude, I've had some of my students literally have the girl come over. So they didn't know about this girl before the coronavirus. Coronavirus hits, they meet this girl over a dating app, they FaceTime a couple times, and then they actually got them to come over and they had sex. It was awesome. It was a coronavirus love story, you know? <laughs> How often do you get to hear that? Uh, well, you're going to be hearing about it a lot more uh, if you attend my webinar. So it's a free webinar, you guys. I don't normally do this. It's totally 100% free. So if you want to attend that, I know this is a tough time. So that's really why I'm putting out there uh, a lot of good information for you guys because I know the usual videos I don't think is going to be uh, enough for people in this given scenario. Uh, and that's what I'm all about on this channel. So yeah, uh, I would love to see you guys there. It's going to be Saturday at 12. Uh, there's a link in the description below, and I'm also going to post it as a comment. So click on the link if you want to attend. Um, and I would love to see you guys there. Thanks a lot, guys. Good luck out there.